In 1910, Bournemouth was celebrating its centennial with a flying competition on July 12th at Bournemouth Aerodrome, which was located in the area around Hengersbury Head. The star of the show was Charles Stuart Rolls, son of Lord Langattuck and a founder of Rolls-Royce. A true pioneer in the field of aviation, Rolls began his love affair with flight in ballooning. He broke many records before his interest soon turned to aircraft. In 1908, he became the second Briton to ever go up in an aeroplane. In 1909, he purchased one of six Wright Flyer aircraft and made more than 200 flights. He became the first man to make a non-stop double crossing of the English Channel. On July 12, 1910, a contest of flight was taking place at Bournemouth Aerodrome. The aim was to fly a set course and land as near as possible to a given spot. After two previous crashes, from which the pilots both survived, Charles Rolls took off to make his second attempt at a prize-winning landing. There was nothing to suggest he was about to make his last journey. His right biplane rose into the air and gracefully skirted pylons which marked the inner corners of the course. He quickly rose to an altitude of 100 feet and on the return journey flew out of the course over the grandstand for a long glide to the landing spot. He cleared the stand and started on his descent when a sharp metallic snap was heard. Wooden framework from the tail end of the machine fell away at around 60 to 70 feet. The aircraft quivered and the whole structure dropped like a wounded bird. It hit the ground with a sickening crash. A wild rush was made to the scene by doctors, police and officials and the crowd surged towards the wreckage. Eager to learn how the aviator had fared, Mr. Rolls was gently lifted from the debris and all that human skill could accomplish was done. There was only a feeble glimmer of life, a faint tremble of the heart for the doctors to work to and in less than a minute all was over. The doctors announced that Mr. Rolls had been killed instantaneously. The cause of death was a broken neck and a fractured skull. He was aged 32. A visit today to the area where this terrible accident happened shows no sign of the airfield's remains. The site of the crash is in the area near the middle of St. Peter's Catholic School field in Bournemouth. In 1981, towards the bottom of the field, a memorial was laid in memory of the brave and historic Charles Rolls. The blue dot shown in this picture shows the area where the memorial was laid.